Hi folks, I'm Peter here. Today I have the Peugeot in front of the building here. And in this episode we will put a fender on it. Uh, we have to solve some issue. We have a broken bolt right here. Uh, this bracket is tweaked a little bit. This bracket is tweaked. I uh, put uh, the turn signal in uh, without you, so I'm sorry for that, but I had to uh, figure it out how this uh, bracket uh, is supposed to be uh, oriented. Um, and I want uh, to weld a muffler also, so let's get into it. Got my CO2 welder set up right here. Uh, this is a really cheap um, welder. I bought it second hand, of course, as I do with, at, uh, with my stuff. On the other hand, it's a um, name brand one, but the cheapest model uh, possible. I have only four options uh, on the amperage here. And here I have the feeder, uh, the wire feeder. I thought it will fit my job, but uh, I'm not feeling uh, this welder is doing any good for me. So in the near future, I will have to upgrade it as everything here. So I will uh, weld the nut onto the broken bolt right here. I will have to do it uh, this way, holding the nut in the clamp, in the gr ground clamp. And so wish me luck, I will set you on the hood and I will get my uh, shield and I will weld it. So hopefully this will does it for us. Yeah, look at this. It's like a butter now. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Also, I want to thank you for all the new subs, likes and support uh, in the previous episodes. Uh, I've got those two lined up uh, in real time, I mean closely after together but uh, this one I'm recording more than uh, two weeks after the last episode and uh, that's because I was waiting on the parts for this car mainly uh, the fender and uh, I, I might seem today that I'm a little bit uh, little bit wary uh, that's because I am I am really tired uh, it was a rough week we worked on the DT75 uh, tractor that was uh, converted to to the uh, bulldozer to the dozer and uh, I redone uh, the piston and uh, piston pins the track pins or there are 80 of the track pins on that uh, tractor and I read it uh, the 70 of them and also we worked on the clutch uh, and brake steering system of the tractor and I can tell you that uh, it's really hard work I was in Austria for that uh, Kawasaki uh, we will do a village run video on 
I was for that, uh, for that, uh, what was that? The KTM 990. I was for the Fender. The trip for the Fender took me seven and a half hours, which seven of them was behind the wheel. So I'm really tired this week. So it will, it will do its toll on this quality of the video. So. Eh. Anyway, I hope we will do some progress. Uh, I want to also weld uh, the exhaust back there. So I will have to crawl under the vehicle because I want to weld it, uh, at least start it on the vehicle to uh, be able to line the flange properly with uh, the exhaust muffler so i think the next step uh, will be driving it forward a little bit uh, i will take some uh, cardboard or something if i can find anything i will put it under my back and i will crawl under there and try to weld it Let's take a look what we are working with. Yeah, it's back down there. Well, I crawled under there and as usual, I was wrong. The clamp right here, I don't know if you can see that, but I thought uh, the, uh, the exhaust pipe or the uh, pipe going in uh, to the muffler is rusted uh, off and it's uh, hanging there but uh, i was wrong uh, the uh, pipe to this muffler is good but uh, the clamp holding do those two pipes together is not tight anymore and you can literally just pull uh, this uh, this exhaust off uh, the other exhaust pipe so i think we need just a new uh, new exhaust uh, clamp and we will be good so uh, i will not resurface this uh, this exhaust tape so i'm I, I will not weld the exhaust together i guess i will have to order a new exhaust clamp and after that i think the, this problem should be solved also guys I wonder, do we have some Kingdom ca uh, Come uh, fans in the rear base? Because what we can do uh, this this summer, we can take our convertible and we can uh, drive to the real Kingdom Come locations, and I can record some uh, some of that stuff for you like Talmberg and Przybyslavice or uh, the Sazava uh, Monastery of Sazava or something like that let me know down in the comment section I will ask a few times in more of the videos because so far my videos get like 10 or 2 or 20 30 I got some more mm, successful videos but uh, the majority of my videos gets like 20 views so <laughs> I will ask frequently uh, as the summer will will approach so I think that will be a good idea if we have some some PC players some Kingdom Come fans and they are abroad and they want to see uh, real locations of Kingdom Come, so 
let me know down in the comment section finally I'm feeling better and I'm ready to work on the Peugeot again uh, I want to uh, tear off the bumper and end this episode with um, expenses on this uh, on this little thing so if you want to know how much I spent on this so far you will have to uh, wait uh, till the end of the video so we will uh, take off the front bumper uh, we have to um, get the plastic welder and try to weld uh, this bracket uh, back on uh, that's supposed to hold uh, the bumper uh, in uh, then weld this uh, plastic but uh, that will be for uh, stuff for another episode uh, we will test fit the bumper and uh, then um, I have to talk about uh, a little issue that I found on this uh, Peugeot uh, two issues um, I found last week so let's get into the front bumper we have to pull the grill and then the bumper itself and uh, I want to check the underneath of the bumper the first thing I have to remove uh, to get to this bumper are those four push pins on the grill right here and then we may end up uh, undoing the lights the turn signal again and all that stuff so let's uh, force these push pins out and see what's hiding underneath I don't have the trim removal tool so I'm forced to use a pair of uh, scissors here <laughs> so I know it's not professional but I have to work with the little tool tools I have so well that worked well I didn't break any of those so got the grill out but I broke the plastic tabs on the emblems here so I will have to get a new emblem or screw it in place uh, when I will be reassembling this now uh, what I think I will do um, I will take off the headlights and then I have some um, some screws holding uh, the bumper in and um, that should be that should be it so let's take it uh, let's take the headlights out and see uh, what will hide underneath them all right so we have the bumper uh, out of the car and we have uh, some damage to the bumper crack right here uh, these holders are busted you can see they are still on the car so I will try to weld it uh, back on we have some cracks uh, where is it right here and um, a couple of cracks here and there but I think uh, we will save this uh, this bumper um, and reuse it again so now I will get uh, the fender that I bought uh, last uh, week or two weeks ago I don't know yet uh, at this moment and we will test fit it and uh, we'll see how it fits on the car and then we will try to repair the bumper and I think we'll send the fender to be painted and we are ready to reassemble the front end of the car um, I will do a strut change in uh, the future because I don't want to have uh, different struts on it so we will change that in the future the bumper uh, was a little bit harder 
cookie than I thought it will be. I had to uh, get the reservoir for the uh, for the windshield wipers off. The wheel has to come off. Uh, the inner fender liner had to come off, and um, then it was simple. But uh, these little things around were a little bit um, in the way. So now I will get the fender. Well, and we here we have the fenders. This is the fender I spent almost seven hours on uh, the road for. So take a closer look at it. And now our fender from the car they look the same right but now look closer can you see this hole and can you see this hole yeah, that's right this hole is hole like a O type style hole and this is a square hole and uh, knob right here is a little different so I will have to drill a hole uh, through uh, this fender to fit it in properly so that's what I will do next okay now I have a hole to play with so let's test fit it on the car Well, I kind of screwed up. Um, I had the camera <laughs> on the time-lapse video and I kept uh, talking to the camera. So what happened uh, was that I tried to test fit uh, that fender and I had a gap uh, between this uh, light trim right here and the fender. And what I discovered was that uh, this uh, piece of metal here is both outwards uh, as you can see this one is flat and this one uh, is uh, both outwards so uh, I grabbed a piece of wood and the hammers and I will try to tap uh, this back flat again and then uh, this I think should be should be indented like on this side so uh, I will try to tap this in with uh, the this head bolt so let's get uh, tappy tap going well that's not working uh, I will have to separate this uh, get this header piece out of the way now let's get back to the tapping That's better. Well, 
that went smooth now I think this piece is back where it should be we have an indenta indentation right here uh, that should be there and as I was looking uh, on this header panel which side is it? Uh, this one I guess I guess this piece is bent out a little bit so I will fit that on the car and tap it to place and uh, hold it with this screw and then we will try uh, and again install the lights and the fender but uh, my camera is dying so I will have to do that, do that uh, another day well hooray a few last taps and uh, we are on the we are on the money here so I think we can send uh, this uh, fender to be painted and uh, I need to order a couple of things on the front here try to repair the bumper and uh, then uh, we have uh, big uh, big problems with this car but uh, I will discuss those in the later video uh, you wanted me to uh, do a recap on the pricing on the prices uh, that I paid for the car parts and so on so I will go home I will uh, plug the my uh, camera to uh, the charger and I will go through uh, what I paid for uh, this car and what we are looking uh, to pay uh, again uh, as we will uh, c continue further down this build so uh, I will go home and now for the end of the episode I will talk about the expenses on this build I have uh, written them down right here so the car itself was 65 bucks uh, the co-part uh, fees were 35 and uh, then there is the main uh, main expense on this car and then that's transportation the transportation came up to 400 bucks it is what it is then the fender was 40 bucks uh, the gas for uh, my car to get it um, picked up 25 bucks and then there is a hundred for the parts for the swag box that you saw in the previous episode that I installed already so let's uh, count it down uh, 100, 500 uh, 600 uh, 665 bucks so far uh, but uh, we will have uh, much more uh, into this than we already have because the uh, ecological tax that will be I think 250 bucks registration 150 uh, the right side uh, shock absorber another hundred uh, and then there is the issue I came up to the car today and the security system is locked so that will be another expense to get it unlocked I hopefully will manage somehow but I don't know how it happened but it happened and uh, there is one big issue uh, big bigger issue with the car the coolant is uh, going low so probably we have a blown head gasket so that will be another 300 bucks to get it fixed so and then there is a last issue I am aware of and let me show you this is the rooftop mechanism uh, the lever right here is supposed to close the lid uh, so the uh, roof is not visible and um, this is fairly complicated system 
of these levers and this one lever is broken off right here and this lever is spinning because this was a press in press in part and this is aluminium and this is um, regular steel and this uh, this press in uh, joint is no good so uh, and these parts aftermarket some guy from I think Bulgaria or something like that uh, makes them at home and he wants uh, 200 bucks for those two levers so it's another expense we will have to go through and then we will have to solve uh, the roof issue itself I found out that uh, some uh, some of those uh, little bungee cords or pieces of uh, rubber that holds the linkages together are stretched out so we will have to replace those and uh, then there is the issue that the roof is locked up and it doesn't want to uh, turn electrically so we will have to figure something out this will be it for this episode I hope you like it if you do please consider subscribing uh, giving this um, video a thumbs uh, up or down as you wish Co leave a comment it will it will help a channel to grow and I want it to grow so I really thanks for all the new subs subscribers and uh, have a nice day be safe out there I'm out of here bye